What up, what up, what up, tube? What y'all on today? Yo, bust it. Come across this story online. You guys might find quite interesting, but it's nothing surprising here. But if you think about it, if you got any moral compass about yourself, you wouldn't be surprised but you would wonder why so many people are defending it and agreeing with what this lady did. You look at the thumbnail that I got posted. This actually happened. So, a guy ghosted his then fiance on their wedding day. And what happened, supposedly, the bride had a bachelorette party. Okay. At that bachelorette party, there were male strippers. So one of the male strippers had put some chocolate on his, on his junk. And the bride-to-be allowed that chocolate to drip in her mouth. Now, I don't know about y'all, but in my book, that's cheating. And ain't no way in hell I'm marrying somebody like that. But bust it, that's not even the crazy part. I found a story on Facebook and I went into the original comment section. And you go in the comment section, it's nothing but ladies defending the, the bride-to-be. Defending her actions. Calling, because the sister had recorded it. And the sister had sent it to the husband. And they talking about, oh, she's a traitor. And she was probably jealous. And she probably wants a husband. All oh, this nonsense. And it never occurred to them that maybe the sister has more of a moral compass than her. I think it was, I'm not sure if it was older sister or younger sister. But the sister that sent the video obviously has more of a moral compass. And, and the family and the friends are calling her a traitor. So basically, they wanted her to go along with what was going on. And not say anything. Just 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 cover for a sister. So that means if the marriage had went through, they married, then sometime down the line she's gonna cheat and have everybody cover for her. That's not somebody you wanna marry. And th these are some of the things that guys you guys need to think about beforehand. First of all, we shouldn't be no bachelorette party as far as strippers and all that shit if it's you know what i'm saying first this here's my thing personally i'm not gonna rock with that you have like a little get together with your girls or whatever and i find out those strippers there and you didn't tell me up front to at least give me the choice to say you well i don't want to do none of this then so you hide it and then you go behind my back and do it anyway. Oh, we, oh, we done so. We, 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 we done so. We going right back down to like whatever municipality that the license is, is, you know, that you will file for divorce or petition or however it go, wherever you live at, we go on, right? I'm going right back down there and I'm filing. Cause one thing I know for sure is you're a liar. Number one. Number two, what the fuck you need a stripper for? I know we'll go down at these bachelorette parties. I know exactly what goes down in bachelorette parties.
So, you know, what, what got me is so many people defending the woman for doing what she did. It just goes to show you how many people condone cheating and will cover things up because that's who they truly are. And they roll in bunches, apparently. So the husband did the right thing. He ghosted her. That was, that was his way of dealing with it, whatever, whatever. Me personally, I would have, I would have, since he, from what I understand, she sent the video to him. So he has the video. I would have sent the video to my so-called fiance and was like, all right, well, we done. Have a nice life. That's all I would have said. We done. Have a nice life. Blocked her. Delete pictures. All that shit. You're donezo. If she's on my any my social media shit, block, 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 block. I will completely block her out of everything. Period. Zero tolerance. You're done. And he might not. I mean, it might have been easier for him to do with how he did it, like ghosting and everything, because he probably, you no, know, he's he's angry, hurt, pissed off, all that. Because I I I can tell I, he realizes he know that he wasted his time. And to a man wasting time, time is money. And when you get that far to the point where you want to marry somebody and then the bachelor, bachelorette party happens and then you get the information that this this is going on, and then, then in the back of your mind, you know, like, you know what, I, I can't marry this, bro, because like, this is some stuff I'm going to have to worry about the whole time we're together. So he was like, he was probably like, you know what? I'm gonna cut my losses. But he he should he should have vetted her harder. I don't know how long they was together before they decided to get married. But he he should have he should have found out a lot sooner than this, because I'm sure some things happened to where her mask, her little disguise, her little representative that she presented to him. In order to get that far, I'm sure some things popped up that at least would make him think like, do I really want to marry this person? But because it sounds like he just ignored all of that, just, you know, just, let's just go on through with the wedding, this and that. That's what it seems like. Because I, I don't think it's kind of hard to get blindsided by something like this unless she's such a good actor even if she's a really good actress i guarantee you there's something that was said or not said done or not done that created a red flag that he he straight up ignored because he was in love with this woman and he wanted to marry her He should thank the sister because if it wasn't for the sister, he would have never known none of this. Because obviously, you look at all the comments in the comment section, all the people that was taken up for her actions, knowing damn well she was wrong, she cheated. And y'all condoning it and taking up for it. Even the people in the comment section of this group I'm in where I found this at. She is a cheater, period. And me personally, I believe from this point on, she's going to attract who she is. Because she, she screwed that up. She screwed that up royally. And him ghosting her was the best thing that he could have ever done. And good for him. Ain't no, ain't no talking it out. Ain't no working it out. Ain't no, none of that. She couldn't even keep her leg, keep her sexual desires to herself until the honeymoon night with her husband. She had to engage 
and this nonsense with a man she don't even know. She don't know where this dude been. Oh, he didn't touch her. He just let the chocolate drip off his junk into her mouth. Nah, no thank you. Me no want to marry you. I'll pass. You can move on down the street with that nonsense. But good for him for ghosting her. And for all you people taking up for it, it just shows you, it just shows the world what your moral compass is. You have none. And in the end, all of you will get what you get what you deserve. That's all I got on that. Yo, if you like my content, support the channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Give me the algorithm. Let me, you know what I'm saying? So I can pop off a little bit more. If you want to support the content, you hit the cash app up. Cobra Clutch 357. And with that being said, I'm out.